Okay, well, it's about 12 o'clock here locally where I'm at in California. So, uh, and I appreciate everyone joining in. So let's uh, let's go ahead and get started. Well, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Paul Nishihira, and thanks for joining in today's webinar, What's New SolidWorks CAM 2022? If you have any questions during this webinar, feel free to ask within the question box, not the chat box, but the question box. Or you can always contact us here at Go, Eng Go Engineer, and we'll uh, definitely follow up with you. So before we take a deeper dive into the world of SOLIDWORKS CAM, I'd like to spend a few minutes just highlighting some exciting things that's been happening here at Go Engineer. Providing world-class service for our customers is Go Engineer's main priority, and by having multiple office locations, whether it's coast to coast or from the northern to the southern states, this, is, uh, this will allow us to uh, better serve our customers. So number one, for example, uh, expanded technical support hours from our team of certified experts, whether it's SolidWorks, CAMWorks, or even 3D additive manufacturing, Go Engineer has you covered. Mentoring sessions are not only a great way of tuning up existing skill sets, but also getting started with a new product, such as SolidWorks CAM. Whether it's a one-on-one -on -one session or an entire group, just let us know what you would like to see, and we'll go ahead and take care of the rest. Proper training to get the most out of what we offer here at Go Engineer is equally important. Multiple office locations allow our customers the flexibility to not only choose what type of training best suits their needs, but also when it's convenient for them. Whether it's traditional classroom training at one of our many office locations, instructor-led web-based online training, the flexibility of self-paced training, or topic-specific custom training, either at our office or on-site at your company, gives our customers the knowledge needed to fully maximize their investments for people taking advantage of our training services. As an added bonus, many of our certified instructors have years of direct industry experience. That, along with the combination of teaching software and hardware best practices, this provides an engaging experience for our customer. If you'd like to find out more, definitely contact, contact us here at Go Engineer, and we'll be more than happy to help out. So, on to SOLIDWORKS CAM 2022. Let's begin with two enhancements available, and this is going to be directly from the SOLIDWORKS CAM system options display tab, as this helps you visually see how your toolpath is behaving for 2022. Toolpath endpoints help you visually determine where toolpath record points are shown in the graphics area. Although the default system color is cyan, for 2022, we are now able to change this to a different color, perhaps orange, to help us better determine where these record points are seen. These color changes are displayed when the option Show Toolpath Endpoints is active in either Step Through Toolpath, Edit Toolpath, as well as the Advanced Edit Toolpath dialog boxes. Also available for 2022, color-specific settings for toolpath hidden moves are also accessible from the display tab. If one or more toolpath moves displayed from the cascading menu does not have a check mark adjacent to it, it is then considered as a toolpath hidden move and will have the specific color assigned by you and shown in the graphics area. Updated labels, which help, <coughs> 
Updated labels, excuse me, which helps improve readability for 2022 is now incorporated within the operation parameters dialog box under the NC tab if within the CNC finish parameters group box. As you can see, you'll notice that the text radio buttons have a slightly different appearance. And again, it just helps for improved readability. All right, next, let's go ahead and take a live look at some other settings or, excuse me, other enhancements inside of SOLIDWORKS CAM 2022. So another great enhancement is the tool filtering inside of the tool crib area. Let's go ahead and access uh, some of these items right here. So with from the default database, you're going to notice that we have a pretty broad selection available as far as our existing tool filter or tool, excuse me, tools themselves, uh, filter selections such as diameter, tool material, protrusion length are helpful as far as determining what kind of uh, tools that we want to look for. For 2022, we have another checkbox down over here, and it's based upon uh, given characters. So if I type in something maybe specific like uh, a length of cut or something like that, I'll go 12 LOC. And then as a side note, it's kind of a quick tip here. If you hit the enter button, it will kick you out of the tool select filter dialog box. So rather than doing that, just hit the tab key and then it'll go ahead and display the filtered items based upon the text that you had just typed in. It's a pretty nice enhancement. This also comes in handy, especially when you have a uh, custom tools and you have it assigned a very specific name or maybe from a, a given manufacturer as an example Sandvik or Design Ride Pro Max etc uh, you can go ahead and use those items as uh, text filtering <clears throat> uh, next up uh, for those of you who take advantage of the z-axis probe cycles uh, selection of non-planar profiles in the direction of the z-axis also enhances your versatility to, of where that feature is relative to your part so what i'll go ahead and do is uh, insert a probe operation and then choose the specific probe that i'd like and then go ahead and access the operation parameters page under the probe tab and then measure, we're going to specify in the Z direction. And in this area right here, again, in prior versions of SOLIDWORKS CAM, you would, it would be limited to a planar face. In this, for 2022, I'm just going to go ahead and pick, uh, maybe like right over here on this uh, face right there. Okay, now uh, one thing to, uh, to take note of here, uh, the default touchoff point for the toolpath generation is going to be the topmost point of the selected face of the Z direction. So even though I picked this non-planar face down here in this area, SOLIDWORKS CAM is going to read the, uh, the highest most point of that surface. For those of you who manage uh, your technology database, uh, there's, uh, there's been some other enhancements here as well. So let's go ahead and open up the TechDB. Okay, and then within the Settings tab for 2022, we are now able to manage multiple technology databases. And it's going to be down here in this area right over here. This is going to help us organize multiple resources such as CNC machines and their respective tool cribs, maybe cutting tools, default feature strategies, operation parameters, as well as some other items. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, though, is that you can only assign one database as the active database to the application at a time. So SOLIDWORKS CAM is offered in two versions. Uh, we have SOLIDWORKS CAM Standard, which is included with any SOLIDWORKS license that has active sub SOLIDWORKS subscription service. And then the other version is SOLIDWORKS CAM Professional, which is available separately at, 
which is available separately, excuse me, but you but can be used along with SOLIDWORKS Standard, SOLIDWORKS Professional, and SOLIDWORKS Premium. For SOLIDWORKS CAM Professional 2022, turn mode now supports assemblies that contain a single turn part model as long as the following conditions are met. Define the main spindle coordinate system for machining the parts in the assembly. Define the settings within the stock manager. Define the spindle designation and origin coordinate system associated with the part. And this is within the manage parts dialog page. And then define the programmable offsets for the main spindle of the machine. And all of this is within the spindle work coordinate dialog page. All right. So to recap, SOLIDWORKS CAM 2022 offers enhancements that builds upon an existing foundation of some powerful technology when generating toolpath and CNCG code. Work smarter, work faster, and work together with SOLIDWORKS CAM 2022. So I don't see any other questions. And again, you know, the enhancements, I was hoping I could stretch this out for 30 minutes, but uh, apparently it's uh, maybe half that time. So uh, if you do have any questions after the fact, uh, feel free to contact us here at Go Engineer. We'll be happy to help out. Uh, also check out our updated website at goengineer.com as well as the YouTube page for other great information of what we offer. Uh, that being said, if there are no other questions, um, you know, have a great day, and uh, we'll uh, we look forward to seeing you at a, another time.